Now, if we go to the options page, it's going to display the text, the, it's going to load the saved text from the storage, right? In the alert and as well as in the, in the input here. But we wanted, we want this text, we want this saved text to be also displayed here inside this, instead of this style color extension. So that the user has the option to change this whenever he wants. If he wants to add another name here, another text here, he would be able to do so. So in order to accomplish this, in order to change this text according to to the text that is saved in our options page, we need to use the storage in our popup.js to get that text from the storage. So what I'm going to do inside the popup.js is that I'm going to get some code here from the options.js, which is this line. I'm going to get this line of code and paste it in the popup.js. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we want is that we want a function that will be loaded once the user clicks on the icon and once it's once this function is called it's going to get the text from the storage and display it display it here instead of this style color extension text. So it's going to be similar to this function. So I'm going to copy this load function and change few things. Let's paste it here. And let's also change the name of this function to load extension name. And I'm going to copy it and also change it in here down there in the callback function of the add event listener. So once the DOM content is loaded, it's going to call this function. But we have here, we need here to fix a few things. The first thing is that we need to change, instead of this, we need to change this to, to this one, to this H1. Therefore, we need to add an ID for that H1 so that we can access it. So here, extension name H1. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to make a reference in the JavaScript file as we did with the button. Let extension name h1 equals to document dot get element by id and we pass the id. Finally here in the load extension name I'm going to change this to extension name h1 and I'm going to also change this instead of value we need to add we need to use the inner HTML so here remember that you use the inner HTML not the value and also we don't need we don't need an alert I'm going to remove the alert and I'm going to save and if the value is undefined it's going to just display display the default text which, which is the style color extension Let's now save everything and go back to our browser and test. Now if I refresh and click here on the extension, it's going to display this is most because it's the text that is saved inside our storage. If I change this text here, options, and say something else, it's most instead of this most, this is most and click on save it's going to tell you text has been saved and now if I get back to the extension and click on the icon it's going to say it's most which means that the text has been updated therefore the user now has a full control over the text that will be displayed here he or she can add any text he or she wants and display it here in the extension main page